I'm out, the people, people can take two views about Iran today, but I will give you my view very, very strongly indeed, because this is a looming and coming challenge. I'm out in that region the whole time. I see the impact and influence of Iran everywhere. It is negative, destabilizing. It is supportive of terrorist groups. It is doing everything it can to impede progress in the Middle East peace process and to facilitate a situation in which that region cannot embark on the process of modernization it urgently needs. And this is not because we've done something. You know, at some point, and I say this to you, with, all the passion I possibly can. At some point, the West has got to get out of this, what I think is a wretched policy or, or posture of apology um, for believing that we are causing what the Iranians are doing or what these extremists are doing. We're not. The fact is they're doing it because they disagree fundamentally with our way of life and they'll carry on doing it unless they are met by the requisite determination and if necessary, force. And the fact it, look, President Obama, not President Bush, President, no, but this is an important point. President Obama goes in March 2009, he goes to Cairo, right in the heart of Islam. He makes a speech where he says, effectively, put aside the Bush era. I'm now offering you the hand of friendship. You, Iran, can come into partnership. You're an ancient, proud civilization. We will welcome you in. What's the response he gets? They carry on with the terrorism. They carry on with the destabilization. They carry on with the nuclear weapons program. Now, at some point, we've got to get our head out of the sand and understand they're going to carry on with this. And we are, Iraq is one part of a far bigger picture. And right across that region, people are facing that struggle.